Larry. You talk to people all day for a living. But all those easy answers you are giving. Are you really living your life that way? Portland is a long way from LA. A long way. Hello, Larry. Do kids the way it's long just ain't that easy? The questions they are asking aren't that big. What are you doing up? I'm scared. You're scared? My heart just did a bank shot off my kidneys. I'm sorry. I had a nightmare. Well, honey, it's just a dream. I'm afraid to go back to bed. Okay, sit here. The, uh, the guy walking through the swamp is really a big girl. Dad, I dreamt you were dead. Dreams don't mean anything. Dead? I dreamt you inside a volcano. And we were throwing lava balls at each other. And I hit you in the eye and you said, go wash your socks. And then you died. And I inherited all your money. Four dollars and 87 cents? Anyway, you weren't really dead. You were a zombie. And your hands came up and started applauding all by themselves. Okay, no more jelly and hot dogs before bedtime. That was scary. Can I sleep with you in your bed tonight? Well, honey, I would really love, love that. But, uh, um, I'm, um, I'm expecting uh, a lady zombie about midnight. <laughs> when I used to have scary dreams, I always used to get in bed with you and Mom. Yes, you did. Once in a while, your timing was lousy. <laughs> Oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> anyway, uh, I mean, it's different now, honey, uh, that your mom and I aren't together. Besides, look at you, practically grown up. Now go back to bed, or I am going to tickle you. Oh, no, Dad, nope. please, tickle, okay, tickle okay, tickle okay, bed. okay, tickle okay, bed. okay, 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 Dad, hmm? do you really think I'm grown up? Absolutely. Hey, great, and I can get my ears pierced. Good night, Dad. <laughs> Uh, yes, indeed. Snookered again by my own little daughter. Clever little type. Good Lord, Forsyth. The monster's wide awake. It makes two of us, pal. Forsyth, where are you? Forsyth? Answer me, man. Where are you? He's hiding behind the tree, dummy. <laughs> must have gone back to the laboratory. I'm telling you, he's behind the tree. <laughs> Forsyth, for God's sake, where are you? <laughs> well, thank you, Diane. That's just what my back needed. <laughs> Relax, Forsyth. It's just my daughter. <laughs> Told you he was behind a tree, dummy. Sorry, Dad. I just couldn't sleep. I figured I'd either come out and talk to you or go to the bathroom. Well, I'm, uh, I'm honored. Just hope you made the right choice. What's the problem? It's my dress. What dress? Dad, the one I've been working on for three weeks in home ec class. Oh, yeah, that one. I, I just love it. Love it? 
don't you notice anything about it? Yeah, that is really a great dress for a lady with a little teeny tiny brass knob on her head. <laughs> one shoulder's too high, one sleeve's too long, the hem droops, and there's lumps where girls aren't supposed to have lumps. <laughs> Honey, no problem. I mean, a really good plastic surgeon can have you fitting this dress in no time at all. Dad, you don't understand. This is the worst dress in the whole class. Come on, take it easy now. Daddy, what am I going to do? Well, honey, it, it's just a dumb dress. It's not a dumb dress. It's a beautiful dress. It just looks dumb. I don't know how to fix it, and you're no help. Okay, okay, now just a minute, just a minute. Let me take a peek here, okay? All right, right off the bat, I can see that the uh, hem droops a little in the back. That's the front. That's what I said. The hem is a little high in the front. This is the front. It opens all the way down to the Naval Academy. Lace goes in there. Well, that's a good idea. Nice, heavy, thick canvas lace. Look, look all right, we'll start with the sleeves. Okay, this one is either too short or this one is too long. Okay? So what we do is we just stretch this little dude right here. Or we'll just cut that sucker off right about here. Or you could just uh, walk on the side of a hill. Dad, you just can't cut this sucker right off. You've got to do it from the shoulder. Yeah, probably. Well, okay, then we just rip that open, make a little flap, so that dude right there, and they're both about the same way. Honey, why couldn't you just take wood shop and build a birdhouse or something? If I did, the bird would fall out. Well, just put lace in it. <laughs> Come on. Now, we'll, we'll work it out. Let's sleep on it. I get some of my best ideas when I'm asleep. Woo! Diane, aren't you coming to bed? Hey, come on, guys. Uh, it's getting late. Let's go to bed, huh? And look, while you're at it, will you pick up some of this junk? I mean, the room looks like it's been decorated in early pantyhose. <laughs> you sure, Dad? Dad, can I... No, you cannot have your ears pierced. Thought I'd forgotten, didn't you? Dad, please. No, I do not like pierced ears. I think they're cheap and tacky and gaudy and unsanitary, dangerous and cannibalistic. But can I have them? <laughs> no. Dad's right, Ruthie. You're much too young to have your ears pierced. You should be at least my age. Right, Dad? Right. Great, I'll have mine done tomorrow. <laughs> No way, Mother Hubbard. And don't give me all that hoo-ha about all the girls at school have them. I wish Mom were here. She is not here. I am here. I am the official court-appointed head villain. And that is my final lecture for tonight. We are now going to join hands and sing Hail to the Oregon Ducks. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. You guys didn't pick up your junk. That's all right, Dad. It'll still be there tomorrow. <laughs> Can't argue with logic like that. My God! Forsyth was behind the tree. Material. Thank you. I had screwed up this dress so bad I brought it down here and thought maybe one of the women might help fix it. Can't even get the women around here to make coffee. Well, you know, it's one thing to say I'm going to be both mother and father to my kids. But the mother part sure ain't easy. Come on, Larry, you're doing great. If I had to pick out a new mom, it would be you. <laughs> Oh, sure. You say that now. Will you remember on Mother's Day? <laughs> oh, Earl, I'm glad you're early. Listen, I have thought of the most fantastic question for today's show. It... 
Okay, where is she? Where's who? The lady with no dress. Okay, you caught me. She's in here. <laughs> Honey? Hi, Morgan. Larry, what is this? That is a dress. Whose dress? Fan's dress. School project? Yeah, how'd you know? Oh, boy, I've been there. When I was her age, I made a fool of myself in home ec. I made a potholder with sleeves. Uh, Morgan, uh, can you sew now? Oh, of course. Hey, well, look, could, could you help uh, Diane fix this thing? Yeah, I'd be glad to. I'll tell you what. I can drop by early this evening while you're doing me a favor. Doing you a favor? Oh, no. Oh, no. I am not going to co-host another one of your dumb Tupperware parties. This is a biggie. You are emceeing the grand opening of a Nosnovitz supermarket. Emceeing a Nosnovitz supermarket opening? Holy moly, Mrs. Nosnovitz will have me sitting in a little shopping cart autographing cantaloupes. What about the kids' dinner? Oh, don't worry about it. I'll pick up something. Thanks a lot. Hey, by the way, how do you stand on Pierce Deers? Very carefully. <laughs> No, seriously. Oh, there's nothing to it, Larry. It's really a painless procedure. No way I'd let anybody stick a pin in me. Earl, if they ever stuck a pin in you, you'd go... <laughs> Did you ever consider charm school? <laughs> uh, hey, guys, nobody's made the coffee yet. Uh, odd man makes it? Oh, yeah. Tails. Heads. Heads. Not again. <laughs> you think she's really that dumb? No, she just can't stand our coffee. <laughs> hey, Morgan, you're great. This is the first time I ever made cookies that didn't look like hubcaps. <laughs> it's an old family recipe. I cut it out of the paper this morning. <laughs> now, hold still, Diane. All right, honey, take off the dress, okay. and we'll do that hem by hand. Uh. Suppose this David guy comes on to me again with his feverish hands. Well, you tell him you got five older brothers, one in the golden gloves and four out on parole. <laughs> <laughs> Easy on those cookies. Come on, let's do this hem. Morgan, do you think Pierre Steers are cheap, tacky, and gaudy? You forgot cannibalistic. Oh, this sounds like your father talking. Just don't get me involved, okay? Well, we aren't asking you to say it's okay. We just want to know what a woman thinks about it. When Dad tries to think like a woman, he gets weird. <laughs> well, personally, I like pierced ears. But that's just my opinion, okay? Maybe I'll settle for shaving my legs. I've got to do something. My life just isn't going anywhere. <laughs> what does your dad think? Mm, shaving your legs is one of those things you don't talk to dads about. Mm. When I started shaving my legs, he didn't even notice till his razor clogged up. <laughs> what do you think it's like having babies? Well, it's more fattening than cookies. Now, how did we get onto that subject? Well, I just want to cover everything before dad gets here. You know something? When I have babies, I hope they're girls. <laughs> okay, here, honey, you take this. Okay. Yeah. Hi, gang. Hi, Hi. Dad. How's the dress coming? Great. Now I just based it, right? Right. I was a smash at the supermarket. If I'd have played my cards right, I could have gone for about three ninety-eight a pound. <laughs> That's nice, Dad. Why do they call it basting? I don't really know, honey. No, Diane, don't take the pins out yet. One lady said I was USDA choice. <laughs> she wanted to make love in the produce department, but I told her she didn't have enough cabbage. <laughs> How do you do? Uh, I'm Larry Alder. Would you like to go dancing? Oh, sure. Bring the cord and the bulb and we'll both get lit. Fine. Very light on your feet. I'll whisper when I want to dip. Oh, hello. Just my zany little way of breaking into your sewing circle. Hey, kids, I've got a big surprise for you. The three of us are going to go to the Trailblazers basketball game tonight. Oh, thanks, Dad, but I've got to get this dress finished. Yeah, 
Uh, okay, well, how about uh, the best shortstop in her class? Uh, maybe next time, okay, Dad? Wait a minute, kids. Maybe you ought to go with your dad. Well, that's okay. He doesn't mind. Yeah. <laughs> Just all sit and talk. <laughs> What are we talking about? Sewing, making cookies, and having babies. Okay. Uh, how about it, Skinny? You want to go to the basketball game? Oh, no, 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 no problem. Uh, do it some other night. Try the black deuce on the red three. What are you doing down here? Ah, uh, the poker game just broke up. What are you doing down here? Playing solitaire. Alone? <laughs> when I'm alone, that's usually how I play. A hooey to hooey. What? The blues in the night. That's a song. It's about loneliness. I'm not lonely. I'm uh, just mixed up. Yes, you are. If you think you're at the Trailblazers game, you sure got a lousy seat. <laughs> Girls didn't want to go to the game. They're with Morgan. Earl, the kids are growing up. They need guidance, and it can't all be about uh, slam dunks and quarterback sneaks, okay? Okay. Call your ex and have her take them part of the time. You gotta be kidding. I mean, that's all worked out. Your mom's a nice lady, but she's in the travel business. Neither one of us want the girls in Singapore one minute and Acapulco the next. No, the responsibility is mine. Okay, defend yourself. Take up sewing. <laughs> no, it's uh, not just Morgan and sewing. I mean, this thing has been going on for months. What has been going on for months? How do I know? Nobody tells me. <laughs> That's what I like, a nice, sensible conversation. Well, you ought to see the girls with Morgan. They're talking and they're laughing and they're sewing and they're talking about stuff that I don't even know about. I mean, she's practically a, a stranger and they love her. Are you jealous of Morgan? No, it's not Morgan, pal. I'm just plain scared. I mean, I feel like I'm shortchanging those girls. I want to love them and talk to them and... Wait a minute. You said something a minute ago. That sometimes happens with me. <laughs> you said take up sewing. Earl, I wonder if they have books for men to tell you how to think like a woman. You don't need books, Lair. If a question comes up, you just think of a logical answer. Then you reverse it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks, Earl. Hi, Skinny. Miss me? <laughs> Oh, hi, Dad. Hi, Ruthie. Oh, sorry, Larry. Boy, we talked and we sewed and we ate cookies and I guess that leads to sleeping. Dad, listen to this. There was this girl and she lived in this rotten old tower. And this ghost went up her nose and yelled inside of her head, Who? Who? And it shook her teeth out loose and they all fell out on the floor. More nightmares? No, Morgan was telling me ghost stories. A ghost went up her nose? That's as spooky as I guess. Dad, how do you like my dress? Terrific. Zip me up, Morgan. Oh, wait a minute. I can zip. Oh, I got it. Okay. Turn around, honey, and give us a show. Okay. And here, ladies and gentlemen, we have the latest in munchkin party dresses. <laughs> cut in such a way that the wind blows up your legs and keeps your bottom cool. <laughs> what do you think? Terrific. And from now on, everything's going to be terrific. I stopped at the bookstore. And from now on, your dad is going to be the complete parent. We have here cooking, sewing, female logic, the Jewish mother, flower arrangements, breastfeeding, female hygiene. Dad! Uh, I was on sale. All right. Why all the books? Morgan, do you mind? 
I'm trying to say something and you're doing all the talking. Me? Why are you mad at Morgan? Well, I'm not mad at Morgan. I mean, I'm just trying to be the father and the mother and the aunt and the uncle and 16 cousins and it ain't easy, Floyd. Listen, kids, I think it's time to get ready for bed. Uh, Morgan, I'll tell the girls when it's time to go to bed. Okay, girls, it's time to go to bed. Oh, and the place still looks like a uh, pantyhose uh, junkyard. You want to pick it up? Oh, Dad, we're pooped. We'll straighten everything out tomorrow, okay? Come on, girls, pick them up. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Morgan. The dress is terrific. You're welcome, sweetie. And the cookies are great. All 37 of them. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do this again, okay? Okay, good night, Morgan. Good night, Dad. Good night, Dad. Good night. Why do I have the feeling you want to talk to me? Well, maybe it's because you know I want to thank you for helping the girls. And I appreciate what you did for them. Maybe I am grateful. Is that what you wanted to tell me? No. Look, I am busting my hump trying to keep the troops together. And suddenly you come in, and in one day everything is pity-pat and snuggly-boo, and let's sew up a dress and take a nap. Oh, Larry. You can pity pat and snuggly boo as well as... Why am I using those dumb words? You know, my grandmother always said pity pat and snuggly boo when she used to bury my head in her bosom. Which I'm also not built for. Come on, Larry, I've seen you with the girls. You're very affectionate with them. No. No, I'm not. Not really. Last night, Ruthie had a nightmare. What did I do? I made jokes and I tickled her. And all the kid wanted to do was to crawl in bed with me where she'd feel safe. So, why didn't you let her? Morgan, grown men are supposed to cuddle little girls. And, 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 and big girls, but <laughs> not the in-between girls. It's all right if mothers cuddle their kids, but uh, not fathers. Especially single fathers. I feel like you're doing something wrong. Is that why you never really hug us? That's the dumbest rule I ever heard of. Come on. A real squeeze, a whole close hug. I'll kick you in the ankles. <laughs> I think it's time for me to go home. Good night. Yeah, good night, Morgan. Thanks, Morgan. Bye, Morgan. Well, let's go to bed. Good night, Dad. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Oh, guys, wait. Um, wait a minute. We, we, we were talking about hugging and squeezing, but uh, we, we haven't talked about talking. What? Well, I mean, uh, look, I'm on pretty firm ground as a father. You're a great father. Thank you, but I'm a little shaky when it comes to the mother part, so you guys got to help me. You're doing fine. No, I mean, really, there, there are a lot of things that you guys can't come and talk to me about because I'm a man. Dad, that's not true. Yes, it is. Dad, we can talk to you. No, no, you can't. Not about everything. Yes, we can. No, you can't. We can't. You can't. We can. Can't. Tell them we can. We can't. No, oh, crying out loud. We can't even communicate about how to communicate. Dad? Yeah? Can we really talk to you about anything? Yes, honey, that's what I want you to do. Are you sure? Sure. Dad? Where are my erogenous zones? <laughs> uh, it's probably right here. <laughs> What are the side effects of the pill? The side effects of Dad, the pill would be... Dad, can I shave my legs? Oh, um, yeah, let's start with that one. Come on, now. and Ronald, who've both fled for the same girl. Then see Turnabout in the big sports riders football game. Penny's calling the plays and Sam's gonna call the cheers. Then don't miss Sweepstakes starring Vic Tabak, Jim Backus, and Roddy McDowell as three hopefuls go after the big prize in a million dollar lottery. All tonight on NBC.